Hey guys, we're here with the one and only Ryan Yu, uh, where we want to show off this Medulce list. Uh, how are you liking this deck for this format? Uh, honestly, it's worse than tier. Everything's <laughs> worse than tier. Tier's the best deck. But I think this is probably fine for locals or maybe a regional if you want to have fun playing something rogue. So uh, I've just been messing around with it and it's been fun. Awesome, awesome. Well, let's get right to the list. Yeah, uh, first things first. Uh, of course, shout out to James for having me on. <laughs> also, a huge shout out to uh, Herman Hansen because he taught me most of how this deck works and he was the one who made the original list. He topped uh, YCS Dormund with it a while back. And this is kind of just the updated version, I guess. So yeah, let's get into it. Awesome. So three Magellan. Uh, Magellan, when it's normal summon or like flip summon, I guess, adds a Medalche. Uh, it's really good because it's a level four and this deck doesn't have great normal summons. Uh, you'll see, because this, this is a build with the Vernus Elves. And if you don't know what the Vernus Elves do, uh, I'll get into them later. But right now you just need to know that they special summon cards from your grave. So your normal summon isn't that important. Uh, and it's good to have a dedicated normal summon that like keeps your cards flowing and puts advantage on the field. Uh, there's three petting. Three Angeli, of course, just the best starters in your deck. Uh, you can special summon this from your hand if you have no monsters in your grave, and then this, when it's special summoned from anywhere, it just does the combo. Angeli, you can tribute it, and then it summons this, does the combo. So there's your consistency cards. Two Hoot Kick. Uh, Hoot Kick banishes a card from your grave and special summon Dolce from deck. So it's part of the combo. You can usually summon this with uh, Angeli or Petty, depending on how you start. And then, uh, because this is a beast, you get to trigger Messi Gelato. This needs a beast to be on the field, so that's just two kicks. Uh, but when it's special summoned, you can add a middle face spell trap. So that's how you're searching part of your combo. Uh, and just one because it's good. Uh, for the furnace elves, three duck, three ultra rare, three bear, one of the other bear that's a super. So these are the Vernus Elves. All of the Vernus Elves have like the same main effect. So they can discard themselves as cost along with one other monster. Uh, and then they special summon in any earth from your grave. And they all have one additional effect. Uh, so this adds any earth fairy. So this is really strong because for earth fairies we've got Angeli, we've got Penning. Uh, all the Vernus Elves are earth fairies. And there's a couple more targets in the deck. Uh, so this is your like consistency piece. This adds any other Vernus Elf. So you can add just one of these, it gets to this, so these are basically extra copies of your Medulce starters. Uh, this card draws one, so you, you use it as an extender basically, uh, and it just adds your end board more card advantage. And you play one of this one, which dumps any earth from your deck to your grave. Uh, you can't summon the one that you dump with this, otherwise it would be super crazy. <laughs> Uh, but this still has a very good target, and it lets you add to your end board with extra negates. Uh, and of course, the other Earth Fairies we're talking about are the Ashizus, Free Caldo, and Midora. So at the end of your combo, usually you want to search this guy, and you can dump one of these, and that ends your end board because against tier, like, it's just one more layer of disruption that you've got. Because this is still sum summoning back to you, so you're adding to your end board and helping to disrupt theirs in the follow-up. Uh, these are good pitches for any of the Vernus Elves. Like, even going second into a tier book, you can start your turn with Vernus Elf, pitch one of these, and it makes their Collider Heart a lot worse. It makes whatever they have uh, really dead. You just play one of this because it's kind of a Garnet, uh, but you can play three Keldo because Keldo just searches another one. And in this deck, since you're always pitching monsters for cost, it's really important to fuel your hand with more cards, which is why Keldo being able to search makes it a lot better. And then. Three Magnum, one Druid Sperm. These are good. They're just some of the most broken cards in the format. The body does come up. This deck's very good at link climbing. Uh, and you can recycle these with the Medalce Chateau, which is really broken. Like, if you can resolve a Magnum, get Druid Sperm into the game, and then a couple turns later, you get to put both of them back in your hand. Uh, and then Double Fenrir. This isn't mandatory at all. It's kind of just in there as a placeholder, because uh, it's an Earth monster, so you can summon it back with the Vernus Elves, and it adds another copy of itself, so just more hand advantage. Hand traps, three ash, three veiler. These are whatever. They're just good because against tier, like veiler is super good against tier, and ash is very good against rogue. But the main thing is that you can recycle both of them back to your hand with the chateau. Uh, especially with veiler, you can like veiler them and then put it back in your hand and use it again on the same turn. So that's very strong. And for the Medalce spell traps, chateau, ticket, and promenade. Uh, for anyone who doesn't know what these do, this, when it's activated, shuffles back all of your Medalce monsters into the deck. Uh, but the more important effect is, if a Medalce monster's effect would cause, like, a Medalce, or any monster, to go into your deck, 
you can add it to your hand instead. And since it applies to any monster, that's how you're putting back your hand traps. You can put back your Vernisulfs for your follow-up. So that's generally how this deck tries to win. You wanna, you don't really want to make a super oppressive end board. You just put up the field spell, and then you keep adding back your resources every turn. So they make a mediocre end board because you stop a little bit of what they do, and then you have like seven cards in hand. So you just kill them on the follow-up. <laughs> Ticket is sort of just an like intermediate piece of the combo. Whenever Medolce goes to your hand or deck, you just special summon or add Medolce. So it helps you get more bodies on the board uh, in the late game and the early game. And Promenade is basically Hot Red Dragon Archfiend, uh, the Abyss. You can bounce one Medolce from your field or your grave and then negate a card on the field for the turn. So it's pretty strong. Awesome. Yeah, uh, so the extra deck, the most important card is two copies of Glass. Uh, you can make this with two level 4 Medolce monsters. Uh, as a quick effect, it targets a Medolce monster on the field and then makes it unaffected by monster effects except for its own for the turn. Uh, but the more important effect is that when any Medolce goes, any Medolce card goes to trigger, so including like Promenade, uh, you have a lot of ways to trigger it. You can use, use the trigger effect to shuffle back two cards from either of the graves to the deck, and it doesn't target. So against Tier, they can go like normal Rhino Heart, you chain this, detach uh, material from itself, and then on resolution, it's their turn, so they're like Tier, Chain Link 1, Chain Link 2, shuffle, and then you put back their thing and you put something back from your grave, <laughs> add it back to hand. It's just so much advantage. And it makes your deck really hard to kill. Because when things are unaffected by monster effects, I mean, how are they already, right? Uh, two Tiramisu, very broken card. Uh, this is just how you close out games and get rid of their board. You can shuffle back cards from their field by shuffling back Mandalche cards from your grave. It doesn't target either, so this deck never struggles against anything like Avermax or a lot of back row. Uh, one Pudding. You can put this on top of uh, one of the smaller X uses uh, just for free. I, once per turn, you can put back a Medolce into your deck. So it's a, if you have Chateau up, it basically adds it back to your hand for free. Uh, and it helps you, like when you stack, helps you go for Zeus. Just one because it doesn't come up every game, but it, it, it's important. Uh, for some of the rank fours, we've got Dweller and Baguska. So the Vernisylphs special summon a monster from your grave. And a lot of the monsters in this deck are rank fours. So you just make the two best rank fours in the grave, sorry, in the game. Uh, it's important to note that when you use a Vernisylph, you're locked into Earth Monster effects, but you're not locked into Summoning Earth, so you can still make Dweller, uh, and if you end on Dweller against Tier, it's game. And this is for fun, uh, Gaia and Zeus, straightforward. Gaia is important because you put it on top of this, and then it's just you can make like a really big Zeus. Fiddling Monsters, one sister. This is generic for Medulches. Uh, if it would die, you can shuffle back and alter monsters from your uh, grave into your deck instead. And with the field spell up, you add them to your hand. So if you like, you generally want to try to end on this with a glass on your turn one. You can use glass to make this unaffected. So they can't kill it by battle, and it's unaffected by monsters. And they can't kill it by card effects either, so <laughs> it, it doesn't die. It just stays there. Uh, and while it's up and it points to Medalche, your opponent can't get rid of your Medalche spell traps. So they can't try to go after the field spell or the continue spell. Uh, Donner, this card, this is honestly probably the best card in the extra deck aside from the Medalches. Uh, it requires two monsters of different types, and you just tribute it uh, and basically die your wolf. It kills itself and then one monster. So on the follow up, it's super important because when you have like seven cards in your hand and they have like a semi type of board, you need a way to start getting rid of the monsters so you can push through your tiramisu. So you can just, usually you have one monster left over, and then you can just start with any Vernisil pitch, summon, this is Earth, which is why you can use it, and then get rid of something. Uh, it usually comes up for something like Zeus. Uh, and then the Charmers, Unicorn Access Code, very straightforward. Uh, you can make Dark and Asa both very easily, because you've got all the Earths, and then the Bistials are Dark, so that does come up sometimes. And that's the extra deck for the side deck really quick. This deck gets to play uh, Sphere Mode, which is very good against like, Sprite, against Rogue. You just don't need your normal summon because your Vernisylphs are always going to be playing for you. Uh, because you can Vernisylph like pitch any Medulce and then just summon back the Medulce you pitched. So you never never need your normal summon. Uh, Pankratops, because it's an Earth, you can summon it back. Like, you can side this in going first too, and then pitch it for a Vernisylph and add it to your end board. It's very cool. Three Bell, extra hand trap for tier. It's super good because it's Earth. So the problem with something like Crow is that 
if you if you're trying to play into your board, usually you want to crow like in the middle of your turn, like to hit a Collider Heart, to hit a Tear, and it's activating. But you can't do that if you've used Avernus off already, which is why Bell is a lot better. Uh, two Ogre. Uh, this is for Sprite and Flunder, because you can hit the map or you hit Gigantic. People don't expect it because it's not that popular this format, but it's a, definitely a good choice. One Bottle Rusk. So this is <laughs> so, sort of a weird Medulce card. When it's normal summoned, if you have another Medulce, you can add, you can add any field spell. And, and it says any, so, so you add this. <laughs> uh, so you when you're going first against Flunder or like any other Zombie World-ish deck, you just don't use your normal summon, you start playing with the Vernus Elves, and then you hold your normal summon until you normal summon the butler risk. Search this, and it's game. Because you also usually get the trap to protect it. So, I mean, like, it's game. <laughs> one Banshee. Uh, this should be a second zombie world, but I didn't have one. And this is basically the same card you can like, pitch it for something, or just normal summon it, but this should be a second zombie world. Uh, and then three Imperm, because it's a good hand trap against tier. Amazing. Oh, thank you so much for the dark profile, Ryan. Any last shout outs? Uh, no, I think I said, I mean, shout out to everyone here at 401. Uh, all, all the boys. Uh, yeah, thanks. Awesome, awesome. Thank you so much. Take care, everyone.